Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. This is episode 45. I'm your host with the most, Los. I got my sidekick over here, uh, <laughs> JB, aka Linkster101. That's his Robin. <laughs> Shit. And That's behind the right magic, uh, we got jerks. Aka Eli. All right, <laughs> so we got a bunch of information to put out to you guys. So fuck it, let's go. Let's just get into it. So what are we starting off with? Uh, we're gonna start with gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Game over. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So first thing first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Stadia. So Google had a conference and announced more details. On what they're going to do with Stadia, the pricing, uh, kind of a, a seasonal release date. Yeah. Um, well, they're going to they're gonna release something before it comes out. Like, they're releasing the whole packet like where you can try it out. So, basically. It's, it's a, like a trial thing. That they're... Well, so, basically, there's a pre-order thing going on for Stadia Pro. Costs 100 and what, 30 bucks? 129 Oh, yeah, the Founders Edition. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, this allows the first bunch of people to start playing this fall. Now it won't be available for wide, re- wide, worldwide. Uh, what, what's the word? Release. Wide, worldwide release. Worldwide release. Whatever the hell I'm yeah. looking for until next year, 2020. Yeah, so this is like a, you know, exclusive beta, whatever. And doing. how many people can buy it? I don't know. They said until supplies available. I bought it the same day of the announcement. Wow, jumped on um, that quick, didn't you? I just wanted to make sure it didn't. I, I wanted to get it off the bat too, but I don't have the money. For it. I, I mean, I I have the money. I just don't. No, it's not oh, for well, everybody. Well, no, no, it's, it's not that it's not for everybody. First things first. They came out. Uh, what's the founder of Apple? Um, uh, Steve Jobs. Yeah, Mr. Yup. Uh, so I guess Teddy has their own. Steve Jobs, the same, the guy, he's always wearing like the same blue jeans. It's just annoying. I hate when. Oh, that's all like marketing. Yeah, and I'm they, like, they, can they y'all fucking do your own fucking thing for the love of God? Fuck, all them like motherfucking copycats. Anyway, that was one thing that annoyed me. The second thing, they never went into detail exactly how you're gonna move from screen to screen. Um, Chromecast. Uh, uh, yeah, well, they, they didn't really show it. They just yeah, showed they games. No, they showed it in the first reveal. Yeah, but they, I wanted more in depth information on it. They they now release that it's gonna be one terabyte. I got you. Wait, what do you need? What, what kind of information are you looking for? Oh uh, well, it's one terabyte <laughs> of what? Uh, of no, the no. internet that's needed. He's saying no, no. He's saying that um, in order to do, run 4K, yeah, in a month it's about one terabyte. One terabyte. So I was like, I don't have a cap on mine, so it's like whatever. My cap is at a terabyte. Oh, okay. I don't even know what my cap is. I have to find out. I don't have a cap, so. So okay. I'm assuming I don't because I pay a shit little money, but shit. Uh, I don't know. There's that. And then not only the way they're going to manage it, that you, you have to do, go by internet. So let's say you leave because if I'm going to try it out, I want to mm-hmm. go somewhere and mm-hmm. try it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and based on internet, they didn't really talk too much into it. I mean that that's the most uh, that's the most thing, the most uh, like triggering thing people are looking at is the internet speeds. It's basically uh, wherever you have internet, you can connect to this as long as you're able to connect to like uh, the Google Chromecast, which is a web browser. Uh, you can do that off the phone, on the computer, TV. Or but see, Chromecast. the speeds would be different because it's not going to be the same one on no, the phone. No, that's what I'm saying. They have a graph showing like uh, what qu- type of quality you'll get per like megabyte whatever it's just it's all fishy i have to see the finished product i think that's what i'm saying yeah. like uh i'm very iffy on it the price is not bad 129 yeah, is not bad that's well, that's, that's actually that's just just to like the founders that's the founders edition which comes with like this package that you don't need to be honest yeah you all you need is, is a, a controller ten, is a ten dollar subscription to it that's it. And that's it. And the controller. Not even the, that. the controller's fifty something dollars from what he said. Sixty uh, something dollars. Yeah. yeah. Not even you don't even need the controller. You no, can you don't. they say you can connect any Bluetooth controller yeah. to whatever device you're using and play the games uh, like that. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather well, use the controller. Second, you don't need the subscription. Oh, okay. You can just buy the games. Download the Stadia. No one's gonna buy, buy the games because they just play it on. They said as, as, as long exactly. as exactly as long would as you pay sixty bucks, when you could just pay ten dollars and, and then play all the games. Yeah, that's what I would exactly. do. Exactly. Yep. So, so ten so, bucks. So, like, like I said, the, the the foundation, the way they're pushing it, it's cheap. It's it, it sounds cheap. cheap. It sounds marketable. It sounds like something that I would be into. The selection of games is one thing. 
It's going to be small right now. It's super small. Baldur's Gate. I mean, I, I know I'm jumping the what gun. The what the fuck is, is Baldur's Gate? Gate? It's an That's RPG. <laughs> From where? Baldur's 3? When the fuck have I seen Baldur's 1? They're old. It's been a while since Baldur's 1 How old? Because I'm fucking like 32 a, like years, 10 years old. 10 years. 10 years ago, bro, I was playing fucking games hardcore. Hey man, Baldur's <laughs> Gate was probably 10 years ago, I was playing in my apartment. It. Baldur's 3 got announced. People are hyped for it. That shit. All I did was... Fuck, play video games and fucking uh, uh, watch Ghost TV. Ghost Recon's coming out, which I wasn't going to oh, yeah. buy it. Breakpoint. But now I got fucking a $10 subscription and I get that shit with it. Yeah. Um, I get fucking all the Destiny 2 DLC Expansions. comes with it. Okay, oh, yeah. first off, well, well, well th- and that's where I'm saying. They're, they must be losing money, Google. Because if they're pushing it at this price range, you have to lose some to yeah, get no, it. I mean, they're, they're, regardless they're, of how you start a business, you're always going to be in the loss. Yeah, like well, don't, that's like they're, obvious. They're paying these. They're, they're paying a lot of money for these games. Money, yeah. Yes. So, and so yes, they are probably going to. So if they, imagine if, everybody. Like, no, I'm not saying everybody get this, but it's so accessible for ten dollars subscription, which Game Pass gives. Charges the same, ten dollars per mm-hmm. month. Yeah. And you don't get nowhere near close no. to the things that you're getting. Well, hold on, no. so that we know of, because the games that they've released so far, uh, Xbox not, Game Pass is better. No, if not I just, compare what Google not got just, right now, come on, Knights of the Real Republic. Not, you you're win. giving me a ten-year-old game? You win. It's over. No, you it's don't. over. You don't. They have Doom. You get, they have compared all the games. to what. To what you're getting here compared to what Game Pass has right now, let's get Google's beating uh, Assassin's Creed for ten dollars. Yeah, Assassin's yeah. Creed died after Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, um, what else? Like okay. Odyssey sold bonkers for them. Yeah, yeah, but this is for all the new generation, isn't it? Doesn't matter. It sells. Um, Pokemon yeah. sells too. Doesn't mean it's exactly. great. Exactly. So it's um, not going nowhere. So I, I just <laughs> I don't see the games. I just don't see anything popping up. Uh, I'm very hesitant about it. I have to see more. Uh, but I mean, they're coming out hardcore. They're coming out swinging. They're yeah. they're they're like in the in the negative right now in the manner of money because they're Don't spending so much. That. They're Google man. They got man. a lot of money. Well, <laughs> we'll see. They got uh, like a bottomless pit right now. <laughs> I I, I, I want to see exactly. Dark Knight Blue oh, controller comes in because I think I'm thinking of getting it, but I just want to buy the controller. It, That's it. I don't want to buy right nothing now. else. I just want to buy the controller. The other standalone controllers look better. There's like another the white one. Is it no, the white there's one? A, there's a black and red one. one. A black one and a, like a... The black one looks oh, badass. Uh, okay, that, I think that's the one that that's I want. That's the one I want. The there's black a, and there's, red? There's like a lime green looking one. They're calling what wasabi. <gasps> the wasabi one. Yes, <laughs> that one looks tight. Nah. <laughs> that one looks tight. I'm about to buy another controller, man. Oh. Nah, then why would you buy another one? Because so I can play You don't play pay the same lady, cost? So I can play with Lady. Yeah, oh, you God. can play with Lady. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Anyway, play anywhere they want to. Anywhere it, on my it, phone. It, it sounds on like a bed, oh, in their bedroom. But uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, you, go but ahead. The first three months, you're only gonna be pay on the only phones you can play on are on the, the Pixel. Google Pixels. Yeah. 2020 <laughs> is when they'll release support for the iOS and Androids. Yeah. But you know, hey, man, I'll pay off my phone in September. You know, <laughs> I might <laughs> might be switching over to open Google <laughs> Pixel, man. Uh, I think I pay off my phone in September too, to be quite oh, frank. Yeah. All right, but I'm not, I'm not. I'm not buying Google Pixel, Pixel buddies. No, but I will say their pictures are a lot better. <laughs> oh, but, they have a really good camera. Yeah, but I, I told myself yeah. after this phone, I'm not buying another phone. Yeah, me too. Like, I just, I'm gonna I'm not, stick with it. I'm not buying any other phone. <laughs> Right. So they until, it's you, you until it's 3D and shit. Until it's hot. Yeah, but I, I, I'm ha- I'm excited for it in the we'll, matter. We'll try of, it out. We'll try it out because I do want to buy. You're it. right. I do want to test it in different spots to see. Yeah, just see, how good it. Is. How good it be? Because like, dude, what if it sucks and you just spent 129 dollars and yeah. you could have just spent 50 dollars plus yeah, 10 for the subscription? Deal. I mean, yeah. I I, I want to. I don't expect now. Just like a lot of products that come out in early, you know, beta. Like I'm. I know they're not calling it a beta, but I consider it a beta. Uh, but early access, I expect there to be some problems with the shizzle. You know, I, I don't expect it to come out. And the thing is, will they fix it in time? What comes with the package besides the controller? So it's a controller. You get three months of Stadia Pro. And you get uh, the Chromecast, which you can connect to your like TV. TVs, yeah. uh, so you'll be streaming it through the TV. It's basically an Apple TV kind of thing. Yes, because oh, some okay. TVs come with... Uh, yeah, there's that, some, I think that, the Samsung ones do that. Okay, like but that. see, my TV doesn't have the, the crap to connect to Google, so I got to buy the Chromecast. Because I have a Google TV. Oh, but it's old, though. It's super old, though. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. But so, no, but they said it was, it was going to work. I asked, remember? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 
As long as it has Chromecast, whatever the crap that crap is, then you're good. No, I have Chromecast. Oh, right. Well, then, then it should work. Well, we'll see. And, uh, and it doesn't matter how old the TV is. It's just really your internet speed. Yeah. Like, that's what matters. Legit, so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I got it. Because I didn't have a Chromecast. My TV doesn't have a Chromecast. So, it comes with that. The controller, three-month subscription, and a subscription for a buddy. Mm-hmm. So, I can uh, give it to a friend. And they'll also have the three-month subscription. Uh, they're, they, you know, they'll have to find their own way of, of getting Chromecast or whatever the crap. Yeah. And yeah, so I'm, ah, I'm pretty happy. Hey, it's, yeah. a, it's a good deal. It's a good deal. Hopefully it works. Cause honestly, it's not like I want them to fail. Like I actually want them to win. I feel like saturating the, the, uh, the world with more gaming devices, it makes things a little bit more even keel for other people that produce games that try to get good games out there that can't uh it'll give them that platform so for me it's all it's all good but but, uh, yeah, but you're right man uh, i mean it's a big concern i have a, is the is the internet speeds uh the amount these internet companies have to adapt because mm-hmm. people are using so much you know uh the quality of videos the quality of stuff you're getting yeah. is so much better it takes up so much more uh, data and Internet companies need to adapt, or something needs to happen. They're gonna come out with a package where you play, you pay for, because they're gonna have to. I'm pretty sure Comcast is gonna do this too. Where it's just internet, but it's like super high price internet, and because uh, I I pay well. Well, that's I, that's what the whole uh, the whole thing was about too. What's it called? The net neutrality neutrality thing. Yeah, that's what that was about. That was that was about like charging you for the little things in the internet instead of just giving you the internet just as is. Now they want to charge you for a little bit more of this speed. A little, I'm going to charge you a little bit less for this speed. Oh, you want to use Netflix and not use your data? Well, then we'll charge you a little bit more for that, too. Oh, that, yeah. That's what that was. That yeah, issue that was, was that FCC guy yeah. that got appointed by Trump that did that. That's right. Yeah. Um, anyways. <laughs> Which sounds pretty smart, too, to be honest. Because for us? Char- charge for you? No. Well, think about it. Think about it. <laughs> no one, companies? No yes. one, yes. Cable's, cable's yes. dying. Cable's dying. No one's going to be paying cable. So if you just you might as well just sell internet. I mean, that's what they do now. I mean, that's what I'm saying. So it, it's pretty but right smart. Right now, right now, you have internet full access without the extra fees. Now yeah. with that happening, well, then they're gonna start charging. But it's extra. smart. But it's smart. <laughs> I think it's it's, it's not super smart. smart. Yeah. Nah. It, 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 it eliminates a lot of that shit. Charges just, more. Just understand that that if that goes through, I mean, it, it did go through. It but, did go through. But eventually, like, you're gonna start being charged for a lot of different things, like, and then like you're gonna want like more. More speed to play your Google Stadia, but then you're like, ah, oh, well, let me add another like ten dollars to my account so I can like get charged, you know, by Comcast or whatever. I, it's it's something I don't look forward to, but it is what it is. I mean, it's because we use it so much, dude. I mean, that's what happened with cable. That's cable smart. came out like that. Cable started being like that. Only certain channels it's they smart. charge a little bit. They charge for a little more. bit of channels. HBO does that now too. It's HBO they they have every everyone has their own platform to um, see what you want. Exactly. Right, so next thing like, that's a, list, that's a whole other thing. Like everybody has their own subscription. Yeah. So that's why when he's like it, it, he's acting stupid, it's like it's think smart. common hey, sense. You're paying for Netflix. $12. You're paying for Netflix. Yeah. You're paying for basic internet. Let's say fifty bucks. But now I have to pay a little bit more to get faster. Exactly. Internet, Sixty bucks. So oh, everything you you want you also want to use the internet to play video games. Oh, let's throw another seventy dollars in there. Like it builds up, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. But, but you right have now to, you don't pay extra for that well, usage. I don't know. For me, like <laughs> for me, I don't. I, I pay for cable. I, once cable's done, like oh, I don't uh, use cable. It's because I'm only cable under, under contract. But once my contract is done this year, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna have internet. Like I'm not even gonna have cable anymore. All right, so next thing on the list in gaming is going to be uh, Pokemon Direct. Oh, so, yeah. uh, you know, Pokemon <laughs> Company had their uh, Pokemon Direct kind of uh, go released ahead, go all ahead. their information on, on that, uh, showed some gameplay, showed uh, went into details on certain things, showed some more new Pokemon. Uh, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? No, no, you go first because uh, I'm going to shit all over it, so go ahead. <laughs> um, I liked everything minus the giant Pokemon thing, uh, which are calling Dyna- Dynamax. Dynamax. Yeah, Dynamaxing. It looks so stupid. Uh, yeah, that's the part <laughs> like, where I'm just What's the point like, of it? What's the, what's the point of it? I like the mega evolutions that they had before, okay, where you get stones in the uh, as uh-huh. you play. And you can mega, you know, evolution one Pokemon during a battle. And it turns, you know, either stronger. It kind of changes their types sometime. Mm-hmm. 
you know, if you, uh, depending on the mega evolution that you gave Charizard, he either turned into a stronger fire or he turned into a dragon, uh, Charizard. So just cool things like that. I like that. So I don't know why they didn't stick with that. It was pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know. It looks like they kind of did away with that and they're just straight up going all in with this Dynamax where, so they didn't go too much into, cause obviously you'll find out as you play. But apparently, I, I think that's just for like co- uh, playing against another play- player. It's not really meant for like the actual game. No, it's no, for everything. It's are you fucking serious? Yeah, They're so, so fucking yeah, so game. You're like limited to like three moves. So it's a part of the story. Like yeah. as you play this game, oh that's gonna be kind of what you're trying to figure out. Like why is the Dynamax phenomenon happening? What does it do? Da 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 da. I'm not even buying now, that game. That, I, w- I was at first. But that no. part kind of, yeah, it it's sucks. so stupid. Like, kind of lazy. I think jerks was that's one of the words you use. Kind of lazy. It feels lazy. It feels like they just either they were rushing through their development. Like you know what? Listen, no, no. Giant yeah, that, let's let's get to the crux of it. One more. I mean, a couple of things. What I did like though was. The co-op, now you kind of have these little raid battles. They kind of took that from Pokemon Go, oh, where yeah. um, you you know if you, you can get online with friends and battle a Pokemon. Sure, it's a Dynamax Pokemon, but whatever. It's still cool. I can battle together with my friends online. There's a free roam area where you can move the camera, finally 3D, uh, kind of Breath of the Wild style. Yeah, I hated that that was a point in, in the, their direct. I'm like... Come on, man! Like your 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 one of your points is that you can move the camera around. Like, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. So get to it. I like that. Finally, they're they're putting these areas where you could just kind of roam around. There's Pokemon that are like roaming too. I assume that can you can you catch see them. the Pokemon. Yes, yes, in those free roam areas, uh, <laughs> you can see. It's like it's like okay. What's that game you have that I play all the time? That with the with the my little crystal Pokemon that I caught. That, uh, uh, shiny. Uh, Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, Pokemon Let's Go. Right. Mm-hmm. So you see how when you walk around, the Pokemon come out and mm-hmm. Let's Go. It's the same shit. Yeah. Uh, um. But they still have the old school running the grass battle stuff. Oh, but okay. in these areas. The Pokemon are out in the wild, which I like. I, I, I kind of like that about Let's Go that you see Pokemon out. Yeah. Uh, I like the graphics uh, that I saw. Uh, you you like the graphics? I like the graphics. You are so full of shit, bro. <laughs> <I think> you, <laughs> you are so full of shit, bro. Uh, Man, you, you know what? I'm going to start shitting on the shit. Number one, <laughs> this fucking game should have been done fucking years ago. Especially with this type of graphics. They're fucking trash. You know what they remind me of? They remind me of fucking Nintendo 64, the uh, uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. That's what it reminds me of. Maybe just a little bit more. More updated. The graphics are not all that. I'm not gonna hit on the game because I don't think it's Pokemon's fault. I think it's Nintendo's fault for not having a system to allow those type of capabilities. Not but then again, I, I think about it and I'm like, <clears throat> I don't know who to blame. But Breath these graphics—they're the not fucking great graphics. Don't don't fucking kid yourself. Great graphics. Great graphics are fucking things like on Xbox, PS4. Those are great fucking graphics. These are little kitty ass piece of shit graphics that they could should have come out years ago. Years ago when I was young. All right. Number one, when I was young, I'm 32. Once again, I'm old as fuck. All right. This shit should have been out like when I was 21, 22. Point one. Point two. The fuck is a giant Pokemon? Really? It's a kaiju. Really? It's the most stupidest concept that I've heard. You you get a big Pokemon and you find out why they're big because of a stone. It's just fucking ridiculous. Like they have no concept, and that's why I always said about Pokemon, they have no idea how to branch out because they branched out too quickly, too fast. They came out with Pokemon Yellow instead of sticking to the n- n- normal 150, they went and added this whole new Indigo League and all this other bullshit. All these Indigo other League bullshit ass Pokemon. They're running out of fucking. They're running out of fucking things to make Pokemon out of. Pokemon Honestly, Sword and Shield. They, they've been recycling the same thing since the day. No, one. and then they're they're. they're Pokemon Sword and Shield. Oh, then they showed the legendary yeah. Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> I don't so... remember their names, but it's uh, two yeah. wolves. It's sword. two wolves. One with a shield. One with a shield. Zarya. It's the most stupidest shit, yeah. dude. And like the thing disappointing Yahtzee. for legendaries compared no, to their track But you know record. what? But you know what? And I know people are gonna bitch and, and and hate that I'm that I'm being negative. But the reality is, their their goal is for kids, and the kids will yeah. like that. Because if I was in the middle school, I would. And I was in middle school when Pokemon came out. I love that. That was like my shit, and I'm pretty sure that's gonna be their shit. And that's they're 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 pushing for the newer generation, and that's cool. I get that. The only thing is, is like the graphics are trash. Uh, all this should have been done years ago. That's my point. You're showing me something that is like subpar. 
to what Pokemon could be. Because I feel like Pokemon has potential to be better than that. Uh, for me, I uh, I was doing this on stream. Twitch.tv forward slash JRX forward slash <laughs> Cheap plug. Uh, no, but yeah, we were, I was talking about this. I was like... It just doesn't look like they want to be innovative. Like it's not no Nintendo. in any way, shape, it's, or form. It's, it's Game Freak because yeah. Game Freak is the one that owns yeah. Pokemon. But like you can just tell that they either they have they're limited on what they can do because of the talent they have, or they're limited because they're making too much money just doing the same shit over and over. And that's there, it. Right there's there. no reason to change it. But, like like I, and I get that. I I get that. Like whatever works works. Why try to fix it? Because honestly, you play any one Pokemon game, you pretty much play them all. Play them all. Exactly. And that's my point. That's why I've been trying to tell Carlos. Carlos is like, oh, you're the greatest. And it's like, no, dude. Literally, I hopped on to like certain Pokemon games, and I already know exactly what to do just by playing the first one. I played Pokemon Blue, Red, Green, and Yellow. Yes, there was a Green. It was in, in, in Japan. You could get it. Yeah. All right, but I, I I mean for this honestly I felt like this is this was Game Freak's opportunity to do something different. Exactly, like take a risk. You have so much money. You're making shit ton of money. They just made a Pokemon movie. Go. You made a movie. I mean, you're acting like people are not gonna come back to you if you fuck up this game and then uh, I mean by doing something uh, brand new versus doing the same shit over and over and then just adding like instead of doing the Mega Evolutions now you're doing Dynamax like. And Dynamax is the most stupidest concept. They show, like, Gyarados, and, like, they're fighting with, like, three other uh, Betamax, and they're like, uh, oh, right like you. Beach, like, <laughs> see how they, like, yeah. hold it? Yeah. yeah. And behind them. Yeah. And... Yeah. 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 It's fucking stupid. I agree. No, the Dynamax sucks. Uh, no, I'm not saying that these graphics are, like, yeah. oh, my God, 4K, the 60 like, frames mm. per second. That's what no. I'm saying. But it, Pokemon's an art style, man. It's like Borderlands. Borderlands yeah. has a specific art style. I got you. Um, you know, I like, and Pokemon's not gonna switch from that art style. That's, That's why I like Legend of Zelda style. because Legend of Zelda art style they're always different. They're always trying but to see. That's like do mainly something different. Nintendo. Nintendo That's take Nintendo risk. Taking the Wind risk. Waker. Uh, you know, Twilight Princess, Breath of the Wild. Or like Nintendo. Time. Yeah, Nintendo Win-win. takes risk. Uh, th- and you're right. Uh, Pokemon Co. Game Freak does not. They don't take risk. They're very conservative. Very small inc- in- incremental changes. Because um, how much more Pokemon... Like, I was, I was, I was joking with Los before this. What, how much more Pokemon are they going to make? Pokemon Toilet? Pokemon Urinal? There's already a... There's yeah. already a, toilet. There's a That's what I was going to tell you. Did you guys see the other <laughs> Are you fine? <laughs> they already right. had a fucking idea. Sorry, sorry. Pokemon did. Panties? No, Pokemon they, Boxer? They did... No, actually, they have a clothing line now, actually. <laughs> They actually announced that at another conference. They yeah, had for you're not buying them some Bro, they this have is, Pokemon. It's so pathetic. Dude. So they have Pokemon Go, and then they have a new Pokeball thing. It's called a po- a Pokeball Plus Plus. Like it's a plus, and then the word plus. Yeah. And then that's the shit. And then they have a uh, ho- uh, Pokemon Home, Pokemon Sleep, which is supposed to be like for Pokemon Go while you sleep. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know you haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. Yeah, it's bro. I stopped paying. I stopped paying attention to. And I I remember last time it was getting all mad, but it's the truth. Look, the formula works. The The formula formula works. works. Let's go. Let's go. Was a small same thing. Small incremental leap. It was just and a you're, remake. And you're fuck, you put an hour. You, it's not even. You don't have the game. And yet, because the formula works. No, the only reason I did that. Was you put mad hours into it. No, be, the only reason I did that was because I got a shining Pokemon. And, like, that just pissed off exactly. loads. No, I, I'm not pissed. And having that, and I can go But that's what it. I'm saying. The formula works. You get hooked <laughs> on that shit. So, yeah. the, you know, you guys have a point. The formula works. It hooks people. Yeah, this isn't giant leaps in story or graphics or gameplay. It's not. But it hooks people. No, yeah. it fucking works. Yeah, hey, hey, fucking. Yeah, fucking. All right. Fuck. Um, also, uh, this past weekend... We got a full gameplay trailer. 15 minutes. Of Star Wars Jedi gameplay. Fallen Order. Yeah. Fallen and, Order. okay, uh, you know, well, E3's well, already t- full blown. Yeah, today, today's Saturday, so they came out. Well, uh, officially E3 is on Sunday. Today's officially. Saturday. Today's Saturday. But but EA came out with their, with their shows today. Uh, I, I, today's Saturday, but the show comes out Monday. But essentially, they showed, uh, um, the ver- at the very beginning, they showed uh, um, the Star Wars game that they've been working on. And uh, they showed a 15 uh, minute uh, yeah, uh, trailer. Said that. And, but uh, and, uh, what do you think about it? <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to get to. So they, they were like raving about this pro player playing. 
number one, that player fucking sucked ass. So let's just put it out there. Wasn't Whoever it? you are, you suck ass. They, they're, um, they're supposed to let... The whole point was him letting, yeah. letting himself get damaged so you can see what it looks like when he gets damaged. For example, when he, the flamethrower, he w- let himself get flamethrowed so you can see that the flames stay on you even after you're out of there. Uh, uh, well, uh, it, I mean, so he... Obviously, there he was just letting himself get damaged so. to demonstrate what it looks like. I hope so. Because um, if the guy was just never getting hit, you'll be like, what the fuck? Well, the graphics look okay. Um, the movements of the character that they were doing, uh, it reminded me a lot of 2003. There was this game for Xbox called Jedi Academy. And uh, Jedi Academy, uh, I hope Elias puts a clip. It looks like the exact same shit. Like, you move from side to side, you jump, you, you jump over. The, like, I wasn't impressed. I mean, this looked like Unleashed to me. Uh, Unleashed, I think, will probably, mechanics, mechanic-wise, is a lot better. Force Unleashed, right? Yeah, Force Unleashed. But uh, uh, as far as the gameplay, it was interesting. We got to see that character from that movie. Um, yeah, that's the only... I like the whole trailer. I like the, the fighting. I like... The kind of I know it's a linear story and I don't mind it. I, don't I mean, mind I think I don't either. I think the uh, I I thought it was badass. I I liked a lot about it. Graphics is where okay, I agree with you. It could be better. Just playing Spider Man, just seeing Death Stranding's trailers. I mean, seeing a bunch of the games that we have out now. Uh, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, I feel like it, graphics wise, it was kind of lacking. Yeah. Now, but, but granted, it's not a. F- it's, it's not still the full production. Yeah. Another six, five months before it's released. Um. But yeah. Uh. When the face animation of that guy you're talking from. Uh. uh from. Uh. The one from Star Wars. What's that movie called? Rogue One. Rogue, Rogue One. One. There you go. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Was something Whitaker. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Forrest Whitaker. For uh, Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. His face animation was just trash. It was super trash. Super trash. I knew it was him, but I was like, yeah, man. you're like, this is trash. Like, I hope they fix that. Uh, uh, like you said, they're months away from release, so they're still working on a bunch of stuff. But that that animation looked it was trash. Bad. Even the yeah. the main character, his face looked trash. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm ho- obviously I'm hoping those graphics wise it gets better. But as far as gameplay, as far as the environments, uh, I think I really liked it. It actually. I wasn't too hyped about Fallen Order, seeing as EA is in charge of this. I know it's Respawn. I have faith in Respawn, but still EA. No, but a lot of people have been saying that that EA is just fucking them games. Like, yeah, but this. this is Respawn, and Respawn well uh, we- uh, is like legit. So, and sh- but gameplay wise, and I was still worried about it. But watching this trailer, I feel like I'm gonna put the sixty down. Okay. On Google Stadium. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> stream this shit. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, on I, Xbox. On I, Xbox One, 4K. I, I'm down. With I wasn't this. impressed, man. I wasn't impressed in any way, okay. shape, or form. I was like, eh. no, like I when I looked, you, I was like, you. meh. And like, uh, the 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 like I said, the mechanics were not that impressive. I I just kept going back to once again check it out, guys. 2003 Jedi Academy for Xbox, the, the original. Um, it just wasn't impressive to me. Yeah, you can't be. I think that's the worst comparison. Uh, that, that's what it reminded me of. Um, that, I think the Force Unleashed looked better when I first saw Force Unleashed. I have one and two, and they both look better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, you're remembering wrong. N- <laughs> no. Um, it just, I, I wasn't impressed. I'm not going to say I'm going to definitely put my money down. Um, but, you know, I just, it, EA is. EA has not been impressive to me for a very long, long, long time. And up to this point, with Star Wars, we, we want to be the... It's a Star Wars game. We want the best for a Star Wars game, but I just I just don't see it. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not saying, oh, I'm all $60 in, but this this trailer inched me closer to that for sure. I, I do I did like what I see. Uh, I like the little robot. The little robot was cool. Yeah, the, ro- the robot was cool. I like how it's tying in, obviously, to Rogue One, whatever story was there. It's before so, Rogue One. Like, uh, yeah, I know it's before Rogue One, but somehow, you know, it's going to tie some stuff in, so I'm yeah, all down for it, that. It's already confirmed to be canon. Yeah, so... I'm, so Star Wars Force Unleashed was not canon? No. No, I'm talking about this new one. But I'm asking about the other. No. Oh, I don't know about that one. None of those are canon. The not even... Uh, uh, Kotor. It's not canon. Kotor is canon. It's not canon. It's way, 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 before. way, way. It's not way. canon. It doesn't matter, but it's not canon. It's, it's canon. But uh, no, uh, tell us what you guys think of yeah. Fallen Order. 
Uh, are you hyped for it? Do you hate Star Wars? Do you like it? Let us know. And check out for next week. We got uh, uh, Xbox with uh, their E3, which comes out tomorrow. Next week? Uh, 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 no. Uh, so check out our Twitch uh, dot com. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, no, switch Twitch TV slash the Three Way Podcast. We have our vi- our reactions to all the conferences, most of the conferences on there. Uh, so yeah, if you want to uh, yes. catch up on that, we you know. We'll, and, we'll is it coming out Tuesday? It's Tuesday. coming out Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so it'll, it'll come out tomorrow. Uh, so essentially, watch out for that. Uh, uh, we're hoping good things from Xbox. Like I mentioned, I've been mentioning before, it's going to be Xbox year. So let's let's just let's uh, get right to we'll it. We'll see. I doubt it. This training, yes. yeah, uh, console yeah, killing. Yeah, console. Um, uh, so let we're gonna move on to sports. <laughs> oh no! <it's> Touchdown! <laughs> it's a home run. Sports. Sports. Space sports. So. Right now, uh, the NBA playoffs uh, have already ended. It's the NBA Finals. Uh, the Warriors have lost. Right now, it is 3-1 to Toronto. Well, at the time of this recording, we don't know that for sure. Yeah, but, but, but yes. I'm pretty sure the Warriors are going to lose. Uh, I'm 95% sure that when this show comes out, the Raptors will be the NBA Finals Championship. Hooray! Shut the fuck up! Oh, it's Golden State League! Bro, it's go- Shut the Toronto fuck up! Lucky, Shut man. the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! That's down. what I like. That's what I like. Drake. You saw Drake coming down that video. He was like, uh, and he put a picture of Draymond Green in that little pink, uh, <laughs> that little pink tuxedo, looking like all girly and shit. Anyway, uh, Kawhi Leonard, man, how impressive he has been. He's so weird. Uh, he's weird as hell. He's the but weirdest motherfucker. He's the most true. I I kind of like him right now because he's like, they asked him like, oh, so so, what do you plan on doing when you win? He's like, we haven't won yet. I'm focused on winning right now. And they were like, okay. And then they were like, well, what do you think about this? We are not at that point. We need to win these next games. And I love that shit. Like, he's focused. Focus. No, no Beat doubt. that ass. Knock that shit. Uh, he's focused. Done. Focus. No doubt about that. And Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry. Uh, former Houston Rockets. Uh, a lot of Houston Rockets fans are all mad because uh, he had that dispute with uh, uh, Kevin McHale, so he left. And uh, I, I, I always like Kyle Lowry. On to better things. Lowry. On to better <laughs> yeah, things. Uh, I like Kyle Lowry, uh, so I'm happy for him. Not only that, uh, shout out to our cousin Leo uh, Solorzano in, 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 in uh, Oh, yeah, Toronto. congrats, brother. Congrats. Uh, Toronto. So if Toronto wins, you're going to I'm witness. glad it's going to stay lost. About time. Shut your ass up. Um, I, I hope that Leo gets to experience a championship uh, uh, in his country. Because he's never going to experience in baseball. Yeah, I don't, I don't think. Well, I don't know about the Astros. I don't know about baseball. Baseball sucks. But I know for soccer, they're not going to win. Well, shit. Toronto Blue Jays got a, 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 some young guys in there, man. That team is looking pretty good in the future. So uh, right now, um, from what we're seeing, uh, uh, Golden State has finally caught up. The injuries have caught up to them. Uh, they got lucky that first year round when all of the point guards were injured. Um, and now, Clay Thompson is out. We saw them without Kevin Durant. Um, they're, they are vulnerable with without Kevin Durant. And they are also vulnerable without Clay Thompson. Uh, Steph Curry did everything he could uh, in game three um, to try to, to win. He, he did like 47 points, am I correct? Game sure. Four. Uh, no, that's that, that was game three. He did 47 points. Game four, he only had like, I think it was on like almost 20 points. Clay Thompson only had 28. Uh, essentially, uh, the, the Golden States are just, they're getting hampered. And then right now we're hearing rumors of KD uh, signing with Kyle Irvin and going to the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Stephen A. Smith has been all over this, like bitching and complaining for like the past two weeks about how he's pissed off about the New York Knicks. So it'll be interesting this offseason uh, with uh, um, in, in the NBA because so many uh, free agents are going to be available. And then not only that, the GM for Houston said that everybody's up. Like, everybody's going to be cut off, done. Like, he's going to be willing to trade everybody and everything um, except for James Harden, which I think is a mistake. I think James Harden has already shown that he can't, he can't carry that load. Uh, the way we would like them to. So, I mean, that that's all that comes down to it. Um, but that's pretty much for NBA. Mm-hmm. It's pretty quick. Uh, Raptors in, in five. All right. Uh, uh, Texans, uh, we got some NFL news. Uh, after the draft, the Houston Texans <sighs> have fired their GN, Brian Gain, uh, after what, one year on the job? One year. Sure. Uh, really weird. I'm guessing they just let wanted him. He's been doing the scouting this whole year, so they wanted him to just finish the draft. But soon after, they cut ties with him. Um, it's kind of surprising, seeing as he hasn't really had... I, I don't find it a lot, a lot of surprise. 
Um, they, they, so, Houston Texans are our hometown team. Uh, we've been following them since the very beginning. Uh, you know, the, the thing with them is consistency. And lately we've been seeing a lot of inconsistency. Like when we drafted for – when we traded for Deshaun Watson. We? Uh, uh, the general manager, Rick Smith, his wife got cancer, so he left. Um if anybody know, knows me out there, I hate Rick Smith. I, I think despise him as a general manager. You got Watson. Um, and uh, so he left, and Brian Gaines came in for that year, and he inherited, like, like no first-round picks, no second-round picks, no third-round picks. He only had fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh. That was it. And and he got uh, uh, Kiki Cutie, um, and he got, like, some uh, – that he got uh, Justin Reed – so he got really good players from the draft. He did really well for well, what was given to the him. The draft wasn't, I believe, the big problem with him. It was his signings. His When it came to negotiating and, and either keeping the players that we had or just signing the wrong people and keeping the wrong people, that, I believe, is the problem that the like coaching who? staff... For example, they extended... Uh, Kevin Johnson. He extended Kevin Johnson. He 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 uh, exercised his fifth year option, and what happened? Kevin Johnson yeah. got injured. So uh, his uh, the negotiate the, the contract they gave to Colvin uh, was a horrible contract. Didn't even perform really. Correct. So okay, I'll give you those two. So, so, so things things like that. Um, I thought you were gonna come out with that clowny bullshit that was about to destroy you. But. Well, he should be. He, I mean, the Texans are yet to resign Clowney, and they uh, shouldn't. And they, they should. He's they their should. best run stopper. Matter of fact, they should wait till the end of this year to, uh, to resign. No, him. he's proven he's not injury. He hasn't prone. proven. JJ Watt's more injury prone, and JJ Watt's the one with the contract. They both so, missed two years. Um, What's your point? So Clowney, I be, that's I think that's another issue. He hasn't been able to get get these big guys, uh, big big set pieces of the team signed. Uh, so I feel like when it came to that negotiation table aspect of it, they weren't comfortable with him, and that's what got him fired. Otherwise, and, and that's you're about, right. In the late round, he was solid. He's, he's solid. He's solid. He did really team. well. And not but only, I think that they feel that negotiation wise, he's not up to par, and they can continue to draft as with the with the team they have right now. They don't yeah. need game for the draft. Well, um, there's rumors out there that Rick Smith is going to come back. Uh, I don't doubt it. I uh, hope so. Uh, I hate Rick Smith. He's trash. Uh, he's always been trash. The only reason he got J.J. Watt was because Wade Phillips was like, I'm going to quit if you don't. And he wanted Wade, Phil- uh, Wade Phillips to peace. stay here. Rest in peace, uh, Wade Phillips. Um, Wade Phillips is dead. <laughs> but come on, he's on the verge, bro. Uh, this though. motherfucker here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's another news in football. <laughs> the other news in football is that Carson Wentz got a huge fucking deal. Four years to stay with the Eagles. Um, they so, picked the wrong guy. Uh, so I'm very excited for they that. Let go, the, they let go of the wrong guy. Uh, I, I'm you excited so. for the Cowboys to be losing every year. Who won uh, them the championship? Again. Yeah, Who Nick won the no, championship? Nick, Nick it Foles, wasn't Nick Foles. Foles. Yes. But, I mean, Carson, I like Carson Wentz. Uh, I, I, he's, you know, he's an all right guy. I like him. He just needs to stay healthy. He's like Deshaun Watson. Just needs to stay healthy and be protected. Can do it. Right? Uh, just paid a big I mean, contract for someone who's not going to make it the whole year. But well, 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 what the fuck do I know? Uh, I like Carson Wentz. We I'm can't not, wait to I'm not Brian game. Uh, <laughs> right. no, you're, no, you're not. If you were, we'd have fucking well, he got fired. shitty ass fucking players. Well, he got fired, so and I didn't, so because uh, <laughs> I never got hired. Uh, um, all right, that's it for sports. Uh, we're gonna move on to pop culture. Pop. 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 Um, so kind of slow a little bit on the pop culture, and uh, you know, we talked a bunch, a bunch about the shows we were watching last week. Uh, but uh, Apple did have their conference. they probably their big conference of the year. Um, I want to say that big conference. Yeah, so to them it is, uh, and these fuckers are <laughs> these going fuckers. off the deep end. Um, just <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. So, because if you want to get their full price Mac, I believe it's gonna run you a uh, thirty k, oh, thirty k. Wow. Hey. I don't know. For their full max out screen. I, I and thought it was like Mac. No, you're you're put you're shitting out about, a good thirty thousand dollars. You're talking about the desktop. The desktop. The desktop. Okay. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, it. but because they it comes with a thing to like to push to hold all that stuff. It has lines. I I get it. Like if you're fancy and you're rich, I mean I, I see it. I mean, Chill. Ain't nobody putting thirty. I mean I'm sure. not putting thirty. What do I know? I'll just buy what a regular I, what one. What do I know? I mean I'll just buy one like Elias has a Dell ones. That's it. Um. Also, they released uh, a news about their new uh, like um, iOS. iOS for not a, they're, they're separating everything. So iPhones gonna have their own iOS. Uh, their 
laptops and it makes sense are gonna have their own I think it's about time because when they try to integrate everything yeah, it together just fucks it all up it was just yeah it, it doesn't work Windows tried that with Windows 8 what was it and no one fucking liked it um uh but yeah well uh, all I know is that hold on I gotta show this to these people all right let me pause this right here there uh let me show you guys all right this right here I'm gonna be oh no you can't see my mouse but this little middle part underneath the monitor that they're selling that's five thousand dollars that little uh, like uh, monitor holder is a thousand dollars. All it a does, monitor. All it does is it. fucking hold the monitor. <laughs> it's a thousand dollars. A thousand fucking for dollars, bro. bro. I could take that shit. What the fuck? A thousand dollars just for this little fucking monitor stand. But it's Apple. People are gonna buy it. People, People are, are gonna stupid. buy it. Wow. Uh, like it looks like Pokemon. People like Pokemon, bro. People are stupid. Yeah, Pokemon is sixty bucks, not fucking a thousand dollars to hold the the Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I was rich, so I wouldn't be complaining. But like a thousand dollars, I don't. Yeah, Trump change. <laughs> I, I wipe my ass with a thousand dollars. But see, we we ain't got the show like that yet, folks. Y'all need to help us out. I know. So Please go buy click, thirty thousand dollars. Click the bell, subscribe, and help us monetize. Help us monetize, monetize. Out, right? Hey, they yeah. just took a Crowder off the goddamn YouTube, man. Put me on that. Slide, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we could be as racist as you guys want us to. Uh, no. <laughs> to be honest, uh, I mean, the guy was telling jokes. I don't know. I, I didn't watch the channel. I, I don't know I what don't the fuck it. they did. The honestly. point is that Apple, they're just, I think they're running out of ideas too. They're like Pokemon. They're running out of fucking ideas. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. They're going to um, come out with their own Apple shows, their own Apple. I just. Yeah, hey, man. Well, more part two. You, you want to tell us if you're going to buy the new Apple desktop. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're fucking buying an Apple desktop, might as well donate some of that motherfucking money to us. Yeah. Uh, Shit. In funny news, uh, last week we spoke about how uh, DC was releasing uh, Swamp Thing. <laughs> Everyone's uh, all hyped up. We were all talk- making fun of the subscription service. We didn't even know it fucking existed. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, there's a subscription Even I knew service. that. Because you're a fucking nerd, but we didn't know about that shit. Yeah, because they put all their DC stuff in one, so they put like their DC animated yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. No one cares DC, about it. That's uh, why movies. I didn't know about it. Uh, but anyways, soon after release of uh, season one of Swamp Thing. Episode one. <laughs> episode one. Uh, we hear that Swamp Thing is now canceled. Yay. We know season two. Wow. Bro, can we, as I was saying last week. DC is just a whole shit show. No, I don't think it's... Overall. No. It, no? It's not DC. The movies... I'll, no, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you the why. The TV shows... I'll tell you why. Trash. Who's, in, who's in charge of all that? DC. No, Warner Brothers. Hey, man, well, Warner you Brothers. You gotta get DC out of the rights of Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers... Disney. Uh, okay, we'll no, talk about it. No, 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 no. Disney needs to buy DC. No. So, once they get done with the whole... The next saga, which is gonna be X-Men v Avengers, they can go... War, uh, Marvel versus DC because they did comic collaborations back in the day, mm-hmm. right? Why not do a Marvel versus no. DC once Disney buys that shit? I rather establishes no, Batman, rather... Superman, whoever the fuck, keep Gal Gadot, and then Marvel versus. No. That's my plan. Come on, you people. They like money. No, this I, will make them money. Bro- and that, then that's not gonna happen. They can have Martha can come back and unite the Avengers Martha. and DC. <laughs> What's that name? What do you say? But yeah, uh, DC, RIP. Um, you know, it's just and going it looked downhill. Interesting. The funny thing is, it looked interesting. But to be way- honest, a lot of their shows in that subscription service look interesting. But what is they're it just a- not, they're just not selling it well. Like no, it's no, just not. For the, well, okay. For as far as the Swamp Thing, the the reason from what I read that they're separating. Uh, and casting is because uh, creativity. The person who's in charge uh, of the producing the mm-hmm. show and, and, and directing and writing, mm. he had his opinions and they didn't like that. And so they went separate ways. That's why they're canceling. Mm. So I'm sure they're going to bring it again. But as far as the way they're selling it, like, like for example, the the, uh, the Teen Titans that they're showing, um, the girl that they picked for Starfire... They're trying to push agendas. That failed. That that backfired on them. Uh, they also the girl they picked for Raven. That also backfired. And they picked crappy actors. They didn't pick any known actor. No, uh, no, no actor is gonna want to do a DC show on a subscription that no one's watching. No one's buying. Yeah. Well, so you gotta get these. Scrubs. That's why you you yeah, have yeah, to sell. Shit, I probably could have so, gotten hired as an extra yeah. on that show. Yeah. Well, they have to sell too. So they they, they should have spent. It's like Stadia. They should have spent. Yes. And then that would have been a different. But it didn't. I I feel How much sorry. Per month. Like. 
It's like seven ninety nine. I think the seven ninety nine. For the, the subscription for yeah, yeah. DC? $7.99 or $10.99. It's one of the two. But I, I feel like this, uh, it just sh- it shows how Warner Brothers is trash and how DC is trash. I can't say DC is trash because DC is so, trash. It's because the people are in charge. Because they have so many. I'll say it for you. DC is trash. plethora <laughs> of great heroes, it's great comic word. book heroes. They have so much that they could but do. DC is trash. They don't know what they're doing. And they don't know what the hell they're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong. And then with this whole Wonder Patterson Woman. as Batman. What the fuck? You fucking I think it's moron, great. Bro. I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. I think, I mean, I think it's way better than Ben Affleck. Yeah. Man, get Christian Bale back, dog. Bring yeah. Him back. Bring yeah. Him back. I, I I agree, and bring back Heath Ledger with cloning uh whatever, and Clone. and have him do Joker yeah. again. <laughs> nah, Clone. Joaquin, bro, Patterson against Joaquin Phoenix, I'm down for that, bro. Well, we'll see. I I'm. I will. All right, yeah, so it's uh seven ninety nine a month. Seven ninety nine? Nope. Man, that's <laughs> four ninety. Should have been hey, four ninety nine. For seven ninety nine, I can get more anime shows on Crunchyroll. Bro, I'm about to get all the video games for nine ninety nine. You better for seven ninety nine. You better give me some good shit. Nope. Nope. Drop, price drop, please. Four ninety nine. No, two ninety nine. Uh, no, one ninety nine. <laughs> one ninety nine. We'll Amen. Uh, all right. So uh, we're getting to the end of the show. Real quick, we want to talk about what we've been playing and what we've been watching, uh, and try to see if you guys are interested or what. Tell us, please, what you guys are watching and playing. So, uh, JP, what you've been watching? What you've been playing? I have not been playing shit. Um, okay. After I beat Resident Evil, I beat Devil May Cry several times. Uh, and, that, I, and that depression, and been, that that depression of hit, and you just don't want no, to play that. No, I wanted to get more of combat. Ever... And I probably will buy it. It's just that I've been working so much, I haven't had the time. Mm-hmm. But uh, as far as shows, when I'm watching, I was watching One One Pen, One Punch Man, the new season. Um, what do you think? I like it. I like One Punch Man. Yeah. Yeah. And then Attack. But that's on, like mad seasons in. Huh? Attack on Titan. Oh, Attack on Titan's been badass. Yeah. Oh, it just got. Go- yeah, it got it's really good. New episode this weekend. Oh, yeah, man. so they finally got to the basement. I'm I'm already way way ahead because of the, the manga, but uh, uh, just seeing it, it like especially the part where uh, Levi attacks the ape, and he's like, "What you laughing at about now?" Oh, he's, he he just yeah, he just cuts him up. Bro, there's, why do you need? Why do you need Merkel? Hey, man. That's the, and then he let they let the motherfucker go get that was Aaron that was Aaron but anyway I've been watching that Attack on Titan um uh as far as what I'm gonna be playing I'm, I want I really want to buy Mortal Kombat especially with that DLC pass they're supposedly they're going to release um because they're gonna release Shang Tsung um but they're gonna release Ash from um uh what's his what's that show called with where he's like fighting Evil Dead that Evil Dead Ash from Evil Dead, and they're also supposedly gonna release uh, Terminator. And Spawn too. And Spawn too. Yeah, Spawn's coming this month. So, so I'm excited. I'm for excited it. for Spawn. And like Mortal Kombat, the graphics look amazing. I've heard yeah, really good right. things. It's, I've heard it. It's, it's legit, and they fixed the problems they were having initially, making yeah. it real super grindy. It's still kind of grindy, but it's a, it's, it's a not lot as better. it's a lot yeah. better. So uh, I, I like that. So I'm looking forward to to playing that. Other than that. Um, I have no games in mind right now. I'm hoping that E3 shows a plethora of, of games coming. Hopefully there's like, and it's out now. Yeah, or you know, Xbox is like, yeah. out now on Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. That'd be or something like badass. badass, yeah. But uh, I, I, I was hoping for like a very good Battle showing for, for the, the new Battle Star Wars game. The new, but, the damn, new what? The new Star Wars game, but it, it disappointed me. It oh, really sorry, man. Um... So, I've been watching uh, Attack on Titan. I just finished Chernobyl. I, like I said last week, that shit's badass. Go watch it. Uh, I've been watching uh, the, Batch, uh, the Bachelorette. That, shit, that shit's badass. Um, uh, as far as playing, I've been catching up since Fire Emblem is like in July, uh, the new one. I've been uh, going back on my 3DS and playing. I thought you beat fire. that shit. Uh, you never beat that shit? No, I've been going back and starting new games because there's, so, there's so many routes you could take. There's, it's a really diverse game. And what characters you want to build up. So I, I beat Awakening. Uh, and man, that's just a, the epitome of uh, Fire Emblem. And if you ever want to get into Fire Emblem, go get a 3DS for cheap and buy Fire Emblem. Uh, that, now I've been getting into Fire Emblem uh, Fates. I believe that's what it's called. Uh, and man, uh, what an what a underrated system first of all and games on a system like i don't see a lot of people talk about fire emblem on 3ds because there were three uh, uh installments and man like it's you can see where they get better i, I just it gets me more hype for the new one on switch oh, so i've been just kept, ch- catching up on those they're so good um other than that uh as far as playing uh rainbow six siege they're about to come out they have a free weekend 
uh, this weekend, and they're about to come out with a new season. Uh, Division 2, I've been kind of catching up. I have a friend who's kind of uh, shepherding me uh, and getting me, getting me, level me leveling me up. Uh, so that's been kind of cool. I mean, because some of the gameplay is repetitive, to be... To be fair, I haven't really dived too much into it. I hear all the good stuff's in the end yeah. game, so I'm just trying to get to that end game stuff. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been playing uh, and watching. How about you, Jerks? I've uh, been watching Black Mirror. The new season is trash. <laughs> he was and telling you that. I've been playing. What about that sex scene on the first episode? The sex scene. I heard there was a sex scene on the first episode. Oh yeah, it's weird. Weird. Yeah. Okay. It's a robot. Some a people human? find weird. Uh, you know, hot. Yeah. Well, if you watch it, you'll see how weird it is. I don't want to spoil it for people. But, uh, yeah, I've been uh, watching that. Uh, and what have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of uh, Blackout for because I stream it. And, man, I got a win on Friday, and then the fucking stream wasn't picking up the sound of the game. What? So I was like, it doesn't count. <laughs> Hold on. You got a W on Blackout? Bro, I've been mm-hmm. watching this fucker. <laughs> and I'm just hope, Bro, that one game where you were just murking everybody, and then your dumb ass stayed back in the fucking <laughs> storm and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Anyways, uh, yeah, I've been seeing you. You're getting better. You're getting better little by little. Well, I um, mean, uh, we we should have more, more available in the future. Guys, uh, please like and subscribe down below. Comment. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, it's our 40, what, 45th? 45th, 45th. Yeah, we're on episode 45. 45. It's been a long time. It, I believe this is close to when we started talking about doing the podcast. Uh, thank you so much for the support. We got 100 subscribers. Uh, I know they've already mentioned it before, but we are very grateful. Uh, you can always find us on uh, Apple, on um, Spotify, on Anchor, on um, yeah, just YouTube, like, on follow, Twitter, Twitter Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, like. So yeah, and tell us what you want to hear. Tell yeah. us what you thought of the episode. Tell us how Paulo, uh, you know, JP, so dumb about his opinions on uh, Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but last thing before we go, I like to end the show with our final punch outs, where we give our most heated opinion at the end of the uh, the show. Okay. So uh, my final punch out is. Uh, I think you guys need to stop hating. Uh, freaking Jedi Fallen Order is going to be in contention for Game of the Year. 9.0 uh, or above. Against Resident Evil 2. 9.0 Please. or above. Wow. Uh, Please. I think it's going to be legit. Story games are back. All you motherfuckers watch your, your MMORPGs, your... Your wide, you know, freaking wide open <laughs> worlds. Fuck you. I want stories. I want gameplay. I want. I want to be. I want CG fucking cinematics. I want it all. Fuck you, Jedi Fallen Order 9.5. All right, my turn. I just want to say, for all you grown ass motherfuckers playing Pokemon, y'all just fucking stupid. Spending money on stupid shit. Grow the fuck up. It's over. It's done. All right, let Pokemon go. Pokemon cards is done. Yu-Gi-Oh is done. All that good shit from the 90s and whoa, whoa, whoa. 2000s is done. Let's just move on and hope for something better in the future. All right, that's a good final punch out. Uh, jerks? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have anything. All right, Pride is uh, this month. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Pride month. Yeah. Pride. All right, but that's our final punch out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. Have a good day. Have a good week. Like, follow, subscribe. Let us know what you want to hear. Peace. We'll see y'all next week. Woo! And, uh, uh, hump day show. Uh...